Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my new Rado Captain Cook Green Dial Diver's Watch. You get this nice leather pouch, you don't get a box. It has a green dial with green ceramic bezel. It's got screw in crown. You get two extra straps with the watch. Nice metal bracelet, Rado branding, watch is slim, you see these pins, it is easy to interchange these straps which are given in the pouch. Let's see what else you get in the pouch. This is the leather strap with a deployment clasp. Pretty nice. I like this stitching, it gives vintage look to the watch. This is the NATO strap. Rado logo and branding on the buckle. It's a nice green color NATO strap. Rado branding again here. Nice quality NATO strap. You get this extra pins in it. These pins are easy to remove. I think these are for the NATO strap and not for the leather. Leather already has pins on it. Let's zoom in. There you go. I love this green color. I never had a green color watch in my collection except my Casio G-Shock Rangeman. As I said, the watch is slim. You see this dome sapphire and the ceramic bezel turning inwards. I like that. I'll show you how the watch looks on the metal bracelet, on the NATO strap and on the leather strap in a bit. So those who don't know, the Captain Cook model was originally launched in 1962 and it was named after the famous explorer Captain James Cook. And now Rado has reissued those models from their archives and given it a very modern look with Powermatic 80 movement inside which has up to 80 hours of power reserve, screw down crown, sapphire dome crystal. It's water resistant to 200 meters. Of course, it's a diver's watch. Case size is 42 mm. The thickness is just 12.1 mm and it's got ceramic bezel. Let's go for the loom shot. The loom is pretty good on the hands and not on the indices, but that's what is important. I 
would like to share one thing about Rado's anchor. You see this anchor or the logo of Rado? This anchor is placed on a ruby inside the movement and it moves freely. So for example, if you are going to use this watch for 5 years and the anchor stops moving freely, that means that the watch needs to be serviced. So this anchor which is embedded in a ruby or placed on a ruby is a service indicator. It's actually unique in the watch industry and I like that feature. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and like if you did. Thank you.